Hi, I'm Valerie Getch from ValerieGetch.com and Valerie's Photo Channel and publisher of Taking Family Portraits Like a Pro video course. In this Lightroom tutorial, I'll show you Lightroom Creative Cloud 2015's new Dehaze tool in action. Just to clarify first, Adobe made updates to Lightroom Creative Cloud that include adding a new Dehaze slider as well as adding local whites and black sliders that you can use with a local adjustments brush, the graduated filter, or the radial filter. These new features are in Creative Cloud only, not in the standalone Lightroom 6 version, but both versions receive uh, regular bug fixes and new camera support and lens profiles. Okay, so let's jump into the dehaze feature. Here we have a photo, a snapshot really, that I took through a train window in the south of France. As you can see, it's got a fair amount of haze, which is something you can often get on landscape photos. Some people like it and some don't, so I'll show you how easy it is to get rid of it using the dehaze sliders. Normally, I would go up to the Basics panel and move those sliders first and then work my way down the panels. But all I'm going to do here right now in the Basics is just make sure that I have my white balance set first. That's because Lightroom's dehaze calculations take the white balance into consideration. And if you set it later after you've used dehaze, then you might not get the same haze adjustment. So I think my white balance is okay as is, so I'm just going to leave that alone. And then I'm going to head down here to the effects panel. It's almost at the bottom. And then at the very bottom of the effects panel, you'll see the dehaze slider. So all you need to do is slide that slider to the right to dehaze. So as you can see, I'm pushing it right now. It's about 36. Oh, how about about 40? I think that looks pretty decent. You could probably go a little further, maybe to 45. Now, if you go all the way, and I'll show you what happens. Um, you may not be able to see it there, but you start getting um, you start you can start getting some vignetting here and also some noise. So you don't want to push it all the way up, and also you can use the dehaze to actually add haze or a fog to your image if you want um, some kind of atmospheric effect. So I'm just going to pop that back up to about oh, 45 I think is where I had it. 43, that's pretty good. Okay, and then now I can go ahead and make my basic adjustments. But first, let me just show you a quick before and after. I'm just going to hit the backslash key and that's our before. And here is our after. So you can see that that's a pretty big improvement just with that one slider. So now I can go up to the basics panel and then now I can maybe uh, move the highlights down to maybe about 45 and open up the shadows maybe about the same and set my white balance. I think it's probably going to be good about right there and also set the black point what I'm doing here to set the whites and the blacks is I'm holding down the alt key and then I'm dragging the slider and for the blacks I want to go just until I see a little bit of color show up and let's see I'm going to move the blacks to about about so about minus 74 and there you can see we have much richer color we'll go um, hit the backslash key again and there's your before and there's your after and if you find that the colors are a little too oversaturated a little too intense um, after using the dehaze slider you can always go and just reduce your saturation just a little bit and i might on this image just increase the exposure just a touch maybe about there and once again we'll look at the before and we'll look at the after and that's a pretty big difference I think you'll agree. I hope you're enjoying using Lightroom to edit and adjust your images. I know I certainly love it and if you want to learn more about Lightroom's various features you can watch more of my tutorials and subscribe to my channel to make sure that you don't miss any. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Lightroom tutorial. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials as we work our way through the Lightroom workflow, and be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of them. I also want to give you a copy of my free guide to Digital Photography Basics to help you improve your photography skills and understand your how to use your camera's manual settings. You can get it for free at my website, www.valeriegetch.com forward slash digital hyphen photography hyphen basics. Now go out with your camera and have fun and I'll see you back here soon.